The Young and the Restless, Y&R, on Friday, August 28, has teased that several orbs will be released. At the Abbott Mansion, Jack Abbott whistled and looked bored. He bumped into Tracy Abbott and worried he was making too much noise, but Tracy reassured him. Tracy gives Jack an amused look and wonders if he's going home. Jack assured Tracy that this was not a shameful walk, he was late at his office for a video chat with someone in another time zone. Then Jack wants to jot down all his ideas while they're fresh in mind and fall asleep on his desk. Tracy is happy to see Jack so cheerful and energetic, whatever the reason. However, Tracy was surprised to see that Jack was too focused on his work. Dina Mergeron's home video message for Jack had a profound effect on him. John Abbott talks about finding love back home, so Jack promises that he will never live his life just for work again. Jack intends to find balance again, even if it kills him. In the hotel suite Theo Vanderway, he surprised Lola Rosales with the in-room breakfast service delivered to her while she was taking a shower. Lola has to go to work, but Theo hopes they can talk. When Lola wondered if something was wrong, Theo suggested that he hoped not. He knew he was the first to show Lola outside of Kyle Abbott and wanted to make sure she's okay. This is not an impulsive move, Lola stressed, that was what she wanted to happen all this time. If Theo really wants to support Lola, she thinks he can help find a bra for her. At the society, Summer Newmans was distracted when Kyle asked about her scheduled meeting. Summer receives a home hunting warning, so she talked about it when Mariah Copeland showed up. Serious? Mariah asked frustratedly. Are you guys starting a new search of love on Lola's field? Summer doesn't understand why this is Mariah's job, but Kyle assumed he checked and Lola wasn't there. Mariah thinks that the least they can do is give a little thought to the one who has been crushed in all this. Kyle wants Mariah to be fair and adds that the last thing they want to do is rubbing. I know what you mean, Mariah told Kyle, the obvious hint not for Summer. Going back to Kyle and Summer, they talk about Lola taking the highway. Kyle thought it was Lola. So Summer commented on giving the medal to her saint. She just didn't think Mariah needed to be the main kicker, but Kyle assumed that maybe Mariah understood Lola's feelings better. Summer admits that might be true, but she adds that Lola is continuing with Theo. Kyle feels like Lola deserves better, so Summer thinks that's right. Everyone deserves more than Theo. Kyle argued that since Lola was continuing with someone she despised, that could be a sign that she wasn't okay. Summer bothered Theo, but she didn't think hanging out with him was a cry for help. Kyle pushes on the idea of reducing it, so Summer admits it won't kill them to be more discreet about their hopes for the future. In the kitchen again, Mariah cared as Lola called her evening with Theo very happy. Mariah doesn't think it resembles Lola. Lola admits sleeping with Theo is different because she doesn't feel good about him, but Theo doesn't pressure her. Lola insisted she wouldn't say exactly how she regretted it, she wants it and loves it. Mariah stops Lola because this is TMI but she feels like Lola is trying to convince herself that she's fine with normal encounters. Since Mariah has more experience than Lola, she thinks something can feel good without feeling good, and if that's the case, that's what Lola really needs to consider. Lola thinks she needs more practice for this to be normal. She feels like she's playing a role right now, so Mariah wonders if she's going to talk to Theo about it. Lola admitted Theo would panic if he knew she was frightened. Mariah figured there was nothing to worry about if Lola wanted to slow down or break completely. Sleeping with someone once doesn't mean Lola can't refuse in the future. It's always your call, Mariah assured Lola. In the lobby of the Grand Phoenix, Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, admitted she wanted to meet Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, face to face to create excitement for his mornings. Phyllis had even bigger news since the last contact. It turns out this is about all that Phyllis signed up for the escape club. With what's happening in the city of Genoa lately, there are plenty of consequences to choose from. Rather than a long list, Young and the Restless thought we'd go with two of the more interesting moments ahead, and we didn't think we would be disappointed. Lola Rosales and Kyle Abbott will share the blaming moment and we think it may be related to their current relationship, but not in the way we expected. This will be an exciting moment we've been waiting for, and it could get even more amazing as things move to another fun storyline. Phyllis Summers has a history of fighting and reaching for the success there today, and her latest effort has left a good reputation for her successes. Phyllis has had her moments of utter excellence as well as moments of doubt, but it seems she's been a genius lately. Her most recent attempt was a success and she received a lot of support, even from her main competitor, Abby Newman. Her glowing ring and ring were almost within reach. Despite the headaches she caused, Phyllis deserved the rest. It would be good for her and might help her mend some of the fences and end the fight between her and Abby.
At least, until something goes wrong and it will be Abby's fault, yes or no? Phyllis thought it was like watching an emotional meat grinder and was surprised to suggest Nick should be like Abby Newman, Melissa Ordway, who made her own life. Phyllis thinks Nick always worries that someone else's heart will break, but who will heal Nick's heart when Victor is broken? Phyllis didn't think there was anyone Nick needed to throw a grenade in. Back at the Abbott Mansion, Theo has just visited Dina. Jack has received an update on Theo as Chancecom's new talent director, so Jack congratulates him. They also discuss Dina's suggestions for a home movie and John's wise words. Summer finds Mariah in the guild's neighboring dining area, leading to some quarrels. Summer claims that Mariah has invested heavily in Kyle and Lola's relationship. She implied that Mariah was the cheerleader to play a role in their problem, although Lola and Kyle made their own choices. In Friday's Y&R episode, Mariah just wanted Kyle and Lola to be happy. She'd accepted what her relationship with Summer meant to Kyle, but Lola didn't need them to throw it in her face. Summer is upset, but she promises not to discuss house hunting anymore when Lola can hear it, unless Lola hears it when she walks out of the kitchen. Summer didn't notice when she left, but Lola brought Kyle's hunting news seconds later. Lola was irritated that Kyle looked at her as if she were about to fall apart. Kyle just wanted to know to make this easier for Lola and suggested maybe they stop coming to the guild. Lola thought that was ridiculous, they are all adults here. Lola added that Kyle is sure his feelings weren't his strong point, so Kyle admits he deserves it. However, Lola didn't want to argue and just wanted the two of them to move on. She didn't plunge into anything serious, she's just having a little bit of fun. Lola doesn't need to update every time Skyle reaches a major milestone, certainly not when they get in, which Lola expects to happen at any time. Kyle confirmed they haven't talked about that yet. I do not care. Lola shot back. Kyle waved the white flag and made it clear that the message had been received. No longer walking on eggshell or trying to give her a fair warning, they will just be. When Theo appeared, Mariah stopped him from interrupting Kyle and Lola's long conversation. Theo told Lola that she could be frank with him even if last night had more recovery than she thought. Lola looked at Theo thinking she would sleep with him for such a crazy reason. When Lola was ready to speak, Theo said she knew where to find him. Don't hold your breath, Lola quipped. Sure, these days, Victoria could use some backup, from Dan and anyone else she might be willing to offer. Her power as the CEO of Newman made her father blush. And even though she made it hard to get under the contract so he could have her, just as he did a lot of others as the one sitting in his chair that wouldn't be possible. Imaginable. Imagine when he persuaded the company board to give her the boot. The preview of The Young and the Restless, Y&R, teases that Amanda Sinclair, Michelle Morgan's good deeds will lead to a shocking revelation. Y&R fans know that when Amanda first appeared in town, she tried to downplay her resemblance to Hillary Curtis Hamilton. Young and the Restless spoilers said Amanda would want to know Hillary's birthday. A confused Evan will wonder what this is, so Amanda will explain the blood type bombshell. Amanda admits she doesn't know her exact date of birth because she was abandoned as a child, so the authorities had to come up with an estimate, meaning it could take a day or two. Their best prediction, however, is July 2nd. That would blow Devin away because Hillary's birthday is July 1st. Evidence will begin to pile up, so Amanda will follow what Nate suggests and present the idea for a DNA test. Since this is a sensitive area for Devin, she will let him know it's up to him. Amanda and Devin will know she is most likely Hillary's twin sisters, but Devin must deliver the DNA sample as proof. During her fight, she had her family and friends by her side and without a doubt they made a huge difference in her fight. Her other important person, Ray Rosales, never wavered. Her children had gathered around her during her darkest days. But cancer is unpredictable. And while the battle is over, the war is still inconclusive. How will this test affect Sharon and Ray? The relationship is starting to dry out and it concerns her ex. We'll have to wait and see what becomes the young and the restless Sharon's most stumbling block in the fight against cancer. It's not impossible that her fight is complicated by her unpopular decision to team up with ex-lover Adam Newman as he fights in an ugly battle of his own. I. According to her relatives, she is trying her health by going out to help him cope with a psychological emergency. She will cross the line to help him as he tries to regain repressed memories of a murder he committed as a child. Ray has blessed Sharon's participation, but he is a generous man. And should he because Adam is a shark and can he really get past Sharon? Kyle and Summer discuss the possibility of having a real estate agent in the park, but Summer had a better idea. After he ended up with Jack at home, he was about to go after all John wanted to give him. Jack wants to stop blaming Dina for his mistakes. He's had an incredible life, 
But now he's lonely more than he wanted. Jack choked with love and loss so many times. Something told Jack that the best was yet to come. Young and the restless spoilers say that Jack hopes to have some major romantic developments in his future, so stay tuned. The Y&R channel is your number one source for Young and the Restless news, updates and news, so check back often.